hello students today we are going to start new unit that is fourier series for fourier series we required three functions first one is periodic function second one is even function and third one is odd function so what do you mean by periodic function a periodic function means a function f of x is said to be periodic if f of x plus and t is equal to f of x here n equal to 1 2 3 and so on for n equal to 1 if we take here n equal to 1 2 3 then here for n equal to 1 t then for n equal to 2 2 t 3 t are called as period of f of x periodic function means that is graph of that functions repeats after some intervals or after some periods for example f of x is equal to sin x and cos x are periodic functions with period 2 pi as f of means if you find here f of x plus 2 pi is equal to sin of x plus 2 pi and sin of x plus 2 pi is sin x so we get again original function f of x means from this we can say that sin x is periodic function with period 2 pi since f of x plus 2 pi is equal to f of x if you plot the graph of sin x we know that graph of sin x lies between minus 1 to plus 1 so if we plot the graph of sin x so suppose if we take y is equal to f of x and this is y axis this is x axis say so if we take the points on sin x is periodic function so this is origin and on x axis if we take suppose first point is pi then 2 pi 3 pi and so on so here y is equal to f of x that is equal to sin x so if you put x equal to 0 then we get y equal to 0 means we can start from 0 0 then for x equal to pi sin pi is 0 so y is also 0 for x equal to 2 pi sin pi 2 pi 3 pi all points are 0 but between 0 to pi one point is there pi by 2 so if you put x is equal to pi by 2 point then sin pi by 2 is 1 we get y equal to 1 suppose this point is here so that point is this means if we join this for pi by 2 we get here point so we can join this 0 to for pi again sin pi is 0 then between pi to 2 pi if we put 3 pi by 2 then sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 so this is say minus 1 then sin 2 pi is again 0 then between 2 pi to 3 pi we get here one point so this is the graph of sin x and observe this graph here 0 to 2 pi after 2 pi to here 4 pi so graph is repeated so from this we can say that sin x is periodic function with period 2 pi <clears throat> so this is related to periodic function now next one is even and odd function so when we check given function is even or what is meant by even function odd function most important thing is if f of x is defined in interval minus l to plus l this is very important if f of x is defined in minus l to plus l and if f of minus x is equal to f of x then we can say that f of x is an even function and if f of minus x is equal to minus f of x then f of x is an odd function for example if you take f of x is equal to x so x is even or odd odd because if you put x equal to minus x here so f of minus x equal to minus x minus x means minus time f of x same sin x then x into cos x sin x is also odd function because sin of minus x is minus sin x cos x is even cos of minus x is cos x but x is odd and x into cos x is odd function these are the odd functions and if you take second example say f of x is equal to x square x square is even function then cos x cos x is e1 function then <clears throat> x into sin x sin x is odd x is odd so odd into odd e1 and so on these are the e1 function of x okay now <clears throat> if f of x is e1 then we know one property of definite integral 
it's integration of minus a to plus a f of x dx is equal to 2 times 0 to a f of x dx and if f of x is an odd function then integration of minus a to plus a f of x dx is equal to 0 so these two properties are very important for solving problems so i am repeating again if f of x is an even function then integration of minus a to plus a f of x dx can be written as 2 times 0 to a f of x dx and if f of x is an odd function of x then integration of minus a to plus a f of x dx is equal to 0. Now our actual topic is Fourier series. So how we define Fourier series? Uh, Fourier series let f of x be a periodic function. is defined in c to c plus 2l c to c plus 2l c is any constant l is also constant for example if it is c equal to 0 and 0 to 2l then Fourier expansion of f of x is given by f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation of n varies from 1 to infinity an cos n pi x by l plus bn sin n pi x by l so this is the Fourier expansion of f of x. Here this a0, an, bn are Fourier coefficients. So we have to calculate this a0, an, bn using formulae. a0 is equal to, now here f of x is defining interval c to c plus 2l. So a0 is equal to 1 upon l into integration of c to c plus 2l. f of x dx an is equal to 1 upon l into integration of c to c plus 2l f of x cos n pi x by l into dx and bn is equal to 1 upon l into integration of c to c plus 2l f of x sin n pi x by l into dx. So using these three formulas we have to find Fourier coefficients a0, a n, b n and after getting these three coefficients we have to put these three coefficients in f of x that is our required Fourier series of given function. Now there are three types of this. Uh, first one is if f of x is defined in minus l is less than equal to x is less than equal to l. Now if f of x is defined in minus l to plus l then we have to check first given function is even or odd. Now there are three types. First one is suppose f of x is odd, then f of x is e1 and f of x is neither e1 nor odd. So if f of x is odd, then how we write its Fourier series? If f of x is e1, then how we write its Fourier series? And if f of x is neither e1 nor odd, then how we write its Fourier series? Now first one is if f of x is defined in interval minus l to plus l and if f of x is an e1 function then if f of x is e1 function then observe this Fourier series expansion is same f of x equal to a0 by 2 plus summation of an cos n pi x by l plus b n sin n pi x by l but here if you take a0 is equal to 1 upon l into c to c plus 2l becomes here minus l to plus l means limit of integration is minus l to plus l and f of x is e1 function so minus a2 plus a using this note this note 
if f of x is an even function then integration of minus a to plus a f of x dx is equal to 2 times 0 to a f of x dx so here f of x is even function and f of x is defined in minus l to plus l so a0 how we write 1 upon l into limit of integration is minus l to plus l f of x dx and that can be written as 2 times 0 to l f of x dx similarly an in an what is change here f of x cos n pi x by l f of x is e1 cos n pi x by l is also e1 e1 into e1 is e1 so minus l to plus l we can write 2 times 0 to l but what is bn here f of x is e1 sin n pi x by l is odd function odd into e1 is odd so minus l to plus l f of x dx value of this integral is 0 so bn is always 0 means if f of x is defined in minus l to plus l and if f of x is an even function then the value of bn is always 0 so we can write its Fourier series expansion that is f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation of n varies from 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by l only here a 0 is equal to 2 upon l into integration of 0 to l f of x cos n pi x by l into dx and a n is equal to 2 upon l integration of 0 to l f of x sorry here a0 is equal to 2 upon l integration of 0 to l f of x dx and a n is equal to 2 by l integration of 0 to l f of x cos n pi x by l into dx and what is the value of bn bn is always 0 if f of x is even function so such type of Fourier series is called as half range cosine series half range cosine series so this is very important sometimes question is there find half range cosine series so in half range cosine series we have to find only a0 and a and in half range cosine series bn is always 0 in half if question is there find half range cosine series then don't check given function is even or odd but if f of x is defined in minus l to plus l then first you have to check f of x is even or odd and if f of x is even then write directly value of bn is 0 and its Fourier expansion is f of x equal to a0 by 2 plus summation of a n cos n pi x by l where a0 equal to this a n equal to this now second case is if f of x is defined in second if f of x is define in minus l to plus l and f of x is an odd function now if f of x is odd function then then here a0 becomes 1 by l minus l to plus l f of x dx so minus l to plus l f of x dx f of x is also a0 is 0 same here minus l to plus l f of x cos n pi x by l dx so f of x odd cos n pi x by l is e1 so this is odd function so value of this integral is 0 only we have to find then bn and bn can be written as 2 times so how we write formula then if f of x is defined in minus l to plus l and f of x is odd function then its Fourier series expansion is given by f of x is equal to summation of n varies from 1 to infinity bn sin n pi x by l and where bn is equal to 2 by l into integration of 0 to l f of x sine of n pi x by l dx and here a0 is always 0 a n is always 0 means in problem if f of x is defined in minus l to plus l then first check given function is even or odd 
And if you have opex is odd function, then write directly a0 equal to 0, a n equal to 0, only find b n and b n is 2 by l into 0 to l f of x sin n pi x by l into dx. So this is called as half range sin series. Now third case is if f of x is defined in a minus x l is less than equal to x is less than equal to l and f of x is neither even nor odd then how we write its Fourier series so the original definition eh, original definition of Fourier series is that is f of x is defined in interval c to c plus 2 l then how we write its Fourier series f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation of a n cos n pi x by l plus b n sin n pi x by l but if f of x is defined in minus l to plus l means instead of c to c plus 2 l then you have to check that function is even or odd and if function is neither even nor odd then you have to find a0, a n, b n all three coefficients so formula is same only limit is change here instead of c to c plus 2 l use minus l to plus l here minus l to plus l minus l to plus l so these are the basic concepts of Fourier series so how to use for solving problems I, I am repeating again if f of x is defined in minus l to plus l and f of x is odd function then if f of x is defined in minus l to plus l and if f of x is odd function then you have to find only b n and a0 and a n is 0 if f of x is even function then b n is always 0 we have to find only a0 and a n and in question suppose find Fourier half range cosine series is there then we have to start directly Fourier half range cosine series how you write that is f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation of a n cos n pi x by l where a0 equal to 2 by l 0 to l f of x dx a n equal to 2 by l 0 to l f of x cos n pi x by l dx don't write b n equal to 0 if question is find half range cosine series then we have to write directly this formula this formula okay and if question is find half range sign series in that right a0 a n is always 0 write direct b n b n is equal to 2 by l 0 to l f of x sin n pi x by l dx and put that b n in series so this is the basic concepts of Fourier series uh, for solving problems we have to use these three formulas so many times in next video we will take problems